Guys, I just checked my mailbox and I received a check in the mail from Lexis Nexus. <sighs> Guys, I'm not hearing enough noise about this Lexis Nexus lawsuit that happened. Um, and so I'm just gonna talk about it really, really quickly, okay? $632.83 check in the mail is something worth talking about, okay? All right, so let's talk about it. All right, so first, um, what is this lawsuit about? I'm going to put this information on the screen for those of you who don't want to go click on links, even though they're in the description box. Now, it says the lawsuit claims that the defendants failed to timely retrieve and report disposition updates to judgment, tax lien, and landlord tenant records, and also included inaccurate and outdated motor vehicle records and reports provided to consumers. Plaintiffs also claim that defendants' alleged practices violated the Federal Fair Credit Reporting Act. Um, plaintiffs also claim in part of the case in which about 23,000 consumers are involved that defendants did not properly respond to disputes concerning public record information in their reports and file disclosures. The court did not decide whether each side was right or wrong. Instead, both sides agreed to the settlement to resolve the case and provide benefits to consumers. Now, this settlement is broken up into two classes because it's like there are two different settlements going on within this one um, lawsuit. So the first settlement class is the 23B2 settlement class. It says all persons residing in the United States of America who at any time from July 24th, 2013 through February 25th, 22 had a lien judgment or landlord tenant record made publicly available by a government source, a lien judgment or landlord tenant related um, court record included in a consumer report furnished by Lexis Nexus, a motor vehicle record included in a consumer file disclosure by Lexis Nexus. Now, if you are a part of this settlement, this settlement does not provide monetary relief. Like the second one that I'm going to talk about, which is the um, B3 settlement, which is the one that I was involved in. It says this includes all persons who from July 24, 2016, through December 31st, 2021, disputed a lien or judgment record directly with LexisNexis, or you disputed a lien or judgment record with LexisNexis indirectly uh, via a reseller, which would mean that you disputed like through the credit bureaus, or you know, you saw um, any type of verification or validation about a public record or a judgment through um, the bureaus, like through another uh, reseller. So with this one, it says there is a separate proposed settlement that provides for the payment of approximately $625 to a separately defined group, the Rule 23B3 class members. If you are in that separately defined class and affected by that proposed settlement, you will be sent a separate notice. So it was like this car about the size of an index card that had um, this information here that I'm going to put on the screen on it. It basically just told you um, what was going on. Um, if you wanted to object to the settlement, go to a hearing or do nothing. It was a card, yeah, about the size of an index card, front and back. You know, when I saw lien and judgment, like my mind kind of went to uh, some other shit. Like I was thinking like, what the fuck? Like, what am I in some, like, I don't know why my mind just automatically went to Okay, lean and judgment don't sound good. That sounds like somebody trying to take some shit, um, garnish. Like, my mind just went there because I didn't know what the QSF stood for until I Googled it. But anyway, so yeah, like, if you are a part of the second settlement, then you would have received, like, this card in the mail letting you know that you um, would be a part of a settlement that would possibly pay out. So um, I guess they finally approved the settlement and um, checks are now being dispersed. So if I were you, I would be looking in your mail for something from Lean and Judgment QSF um, in regards to this settlement here. Um, yeah, so like this is a $21,500,000 settlement. Um, and this is like a big deal, but I'm not hearing much talk about it. Like I'm not hearing anything about it so you don't necessarily i didn't have to sign up for anything i honestly didn't do anything i wish i wouldn't have thrown that card away though but um i didn't do anything to be a part of this i didn't sign up for anything i didn't speak to anyone i literally got that card in the mail sometime in may kind of out of sight out of my mind but i held on to it because i was thinking like what if you know 
I don't know, like if this is a scam or something. I'm like, I don't know. But I held on to it up until recently and then I threw it away like last week. But then I go and I check my mail and see this there, open it. You know, it even got sent like a um, 1099 miscellaneous form um, as well. I'm not going to turn it around because obviously it shows my um, address and all that. Well, I'll turn it and just cover it up. But yeah, like it sent that to, um, I just, uploaded um did like a mobile deposit for the check to go to my banking account so um if by the time i edit the video it went on and processed and i'll put a picture up but yeah like if i were you guys um if you want to be sure or you don't know if you're included in the class then call this uh toll free number 844-913 4414 just to see. I have all the links in the description box in regards to information about the two settlement classes, um, frequently asked questions, you know. Um, so yeah, this is a very unexpected blessing is what I call it. Um, because I mean, uh, don't nobody want to go to the, the mailbox and just be in bills. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's cool to go to the mailbox and to be a check there. It's like, what the, like I didn't even... I don't know, so I took it as a blessing, you know what I mean? Like, I, I'm never too high up on the totem pole to not get excited about receiving a check in the mail, like, especially when I wasn't expecting it. Like, I'm geeked. I was excited. I was screaming. I ain't gonna even lie. But, um, yeah, guys, so that's all the information in regards to this settlement. Um, like I said, everything will be in the description box. I'm super excited. <laughs> I'm so excited. Like, I just, I'm, I'm happy. But anyways, yeah, if you have any questions, um, you can ask me, but I'm gonna probably gonna just tell you to go check out a link or call because I mean I don't know like, I don't work with these people I don't know like I'm just now like literally just got open my mailbox today as in like October sixth like and I was like let me make a video um to see because no I haven't heard anybody talking about this I haven't seen it like broadcasting on any news stations no articles no nothing so yeah guys just wanted to let you guys know because I know a lot of us. Um, have public records or have you know tried to dispute them in the past but hopefully this this check some of you guys have received the check and I know this like comes in the clutch like brand new month like end of the year like I, we want more checks I'm I'm praying for more checks to come for us like ten thousand dollar checks minimum okay you know you got to put it out there but um yeah guys I will see you I have an upload um tonight about collections at 7 p.m. That's how you know, like, I'm super geek because I haven't double uploaded in a long time, meaning, like, upload two videos in one day in a long time, probably since I, in the beginning when I started my YouTube channel. I kind of used to do that. But, yeah, I'll see you guys. Uh, we'll be talking about collections tonight at 7 p.m. So, make sure you turn your post notifications on. Um, tomorrow, I will have a giveaway video uploaded. So, if you have not subscribed to my channel, you better. And turn the post notifications on because... You won't want to miss this. Um, but yeah, that's all I got. I don't want this video to be long at all. Peace.